right guys, so welcome back to another video. We are 12 days out from the first show, which is crazy to fucking say. Um, we're gonna film a little morning routine for you guys today. I already like made my bed, took my weight and everything. We hit a new low. I'm at 231.8, so I'm under the weight cap now, which is really fucking cool to say. So hopefully, Nate gives us a refi because he said yesterday, he's like, we're this close to giving you a refeed or pulling back and so I hope that did it because I literally dropped a pound and a half since yesterday. I dropped a pound and a half from yesterday. I dropped like half a pound the day before that. I dropped a pound before that and then a pound before that. So hopefully he gives us some fucking food. Um, but we're gonna take check-ins right now. I'm gonna run you guys to my check-in setup and then after that, a bit 45 minutes of cardio. We just started checking pictures of you guys, so I'm gonna wait for next response, but basically before cardio, I get a full Helamix down of water, which is 20 ounces. And then after that I start my cardio, I drink 20 ounces during, so I'll have 40 ounces down. And as soon as I get done, we're gonna do the immersion table, have our little gut health shake, and then kind of get the morning started with our food. So, I spent some there. And the rest of our veggies will be, like we'll do some shredded lettuce with this meal. Just for volume? Yeah, for volume. And honestly, like egg whites and shredded lettuce is kind of good. You get like the crunch with it. So we'll let the spinach kind of cook a little bit. I have to show the infamous cream of rice bowl that I make with my protein frosting. You get to see it firsthand. So you guys, all the flavor gang stuff. Um, what wow, flavor I'm gonna go with today? I'm gonna go with, this is what I've been doing in the mornings, you guys, is the strawberry Grammys candy. And I will do a chocolate protein frosting with this, so it's like chocolate covered strawberries. And then you have the blueberries on top, so it's like just chocolate covered fruit. Two sixty one. Look at that. I'm so good at this. Um, You've been doing this for a while, or what? <laughs> six years, man. I was seventeen. Oh, we'll let that cook. We're gonna put some spinach in there. Pepper. My brain's not functioning properly. Um. Now we have to make our cream of rice. So I put that in there. I eat with the spoon as well. Baby spoon. I just eyeball my water, you guys, but they say to do around four grams of water per gram cream of rice. So if you have 45 grams, you do four grams of water per gram of that. That's what? 180, 180 grams of water. But again, the thing is, is you can always add more water, but you can't take any away. So I just recommend starting with three to four grams. If it's too thick, 
You take it out, put extra water in it, start stirring it, and you'll see the volume come up more and the thickness start to loosen up a little bit because I made soupy ass cream rice and it upsets me because I don't want to waste it. Um, so yeah, I like it like a good consistency of to where you put it on the spoon and when you go to dump it, it like slowly falls off. Not to where it's stuck to the spoon, but also not where it's like soup. Bro, you're like you're actually like a chef. Fuck yeah. And I'm switching my coaching over from Google Sheets to using Trainerize and Evolution Nutrition. And dude, it's so much easier. So for any of you guys that are, if you guys are interested in coaching at all, there is a link down below in the description to apply. But I'm transitioning all my clients over from using Google Sheets to Trainerize and Evolution Nutrition. I've used these two apps before. They go in tandem with each other. Everything's in one app. So you have the app on your phone, you do your check-ins through there, all your stats are in there, your weight, your measurements, your height, literally everything. Your meal plan's in there. Everything's automatically updated. And on top of that with Evolution, I'm able to put recipes in there and save them. So then I can input like say protein pancakes into someone's recipe. And then I just have to tweak the numbers. And there's also cooking instructions. Oh, so, you, so they know how to make them. So easy. That's smart. So easy, on, much easier on my end, much easier on the Look clients. Look at you looking out for the clients, bro. dude. So, Center is for the clients. I'm for the people. So that transition's gonna, it's gonna take a couple weeks. So the thing about Crema Rise too, you guys, is it's gonna continue to cook when you even take it out of the microwave. So if it looks a little watery, don't worry because it's gonna thicken up. Um, like I said, it continues to cook by itself when it's out because it's so hot. So I'll put it back in still to get it even more hot. So then when I take it out, it's just gonna keep cooking and it'll thicken up. And by the time I'm ready to put all my toppings on it, it'll be like a nice little base, like cream of rice, cake, pudding, whatever you wanna call it. All right, you guys, so again, this is how like the consistency should look. If you see, it's still thick. Nuts and more is nice because you save 15% and they do free shipping on orders of $55 or more. So we're gonna put the dark chocolate almond butter on this one. You have to try this, bro. It's so good. I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Stop being like that. You're not in a prep. You can try things, okay? All right, we're gonna make up our protein frosting. All right guys, so we're making our protein frosting. It's not as thick as I wanted. I had a little bit too much water, but that's okay, because it's still like, it's still like a frosting. So we just have one scoop of the chocolate um, isolate from Jack Factory. Make it into our little frosting. Little cream of rice. Look at that shit. And then it dries on me? Yeah, so because the cream rice is hot, so it's going to slightly solidify the protein frosting, so it creates like a layer on top. Put cinnamon in on first. Blueberries, Publix has had like the best blueberries lately. And if I don't have fresh blueberries, you guys, the only frozen ones I'll get are the Wyman's ones. I don't know if you've had those. They're the best frozen blueberries because they're small. They're super, super tiny. I like mini blueberries. Got 100 grams. And now we will top it with, I know some more. On our egg whites, we do the Texas ketchup and then the Baja sauce. A little bit of Texas. Uh -huh. And then we'll put some shredded lettuce on there. All right guys, we got meal one down. We're gonna go eat this, watch some YouTube of other people eating. And then after that, we'll head to Costco, so.
Guys, we're going to Costco right now. Just to grab a couple like essentials, mainly I need egg whites, spinach. Uh, we're gonna grab some more meats just to have them. Just cause we'll go peak week shopping later this week. But we're just kind of grabbing stuff for the rest of this week right now. So we'll see you guys when we get there. Just got done at Costco. We're going to head back to the house right now and then show you guys what we it's got. Music. And that'll be the end of the video. I'm back from Costco. So guys, like I said, just got a couple things because we will go peak week shopping later this week when we get our list of what we need. But we just got two more things of spinach because we need a lot of spinach right now. We got another thing of bison, even though I cooked up quite a bit yesterday. We just got another one. Chicken tenderloins. I like these over chicken breasts just because they're easier to cut. And then two things of egg whites and some fresh blueberries. But you guys, that's gonna wrap the video up. So it's only about 11.15 right now, so it's kind of typically what I do in the morning besides the grocery shopping. This is like once, twice a week. Wake up, basically do my check-ins, do my cardio. Inversion table, have my first meal. And then after that, if I need to go shopping, I go shopping or I get to client work, so. That's kind of my morning routine, how I run things. Um, I do still have one in the off season too. I think it's good to have a morning routine regardless if you're in prep or in off season, just to kind of get you going for the day. I will go out on morning walks in the morning. Right now I'll still go on walks, but in the off season I go on a walk every single morning. So other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next upcoming videos for Peak Week because it's coming up very, very soon. So. I'm excited, you guys. We're 12 days out, and I'll see you guys here very soon.